Hey y'all, welcome back again to Torpedoes and Tarantulas where I've got another little short update for you guys. Uh, this update is going to be on my female Pueblan milk snake. Um, not a whole lot going on with her, you know, I uh, I feed her once a week, I change her bedding once or once a week or once every two weeks depending on how much she has pooped. Uh, but she just she pretty much stays hidden, so, you know, there's really not a whole lot uh, going on. I got her at Nexpo in December, and it is now March. She has shed twice since then. She was probably 14 inches when I got her. I don't really know what she is now, but she's she's bigger than she was. So, I mean, this is her setup, uh, and I change it around every time I change her bedding which is just paper towels. I don't mess with the shavings because, well, let's be honest, they soil those, then you've got to take all the shavings out, then you've got to clean all the mess out of the bottom of the enclosure and then put new shavings in. With paper towels, it's just so much easier because, I mean, it just kind of contains the mess. You just take the old paper towels out, put new ones in. But she has two hides, um, one on the cool end, one on the warm end, and a water dish, and then some sticks to climb on. Like I said, every time I uh, clean her enclosure and feed her, I rearrange these things. She sits on this shelf right over here, and there's a towel there. There is a heating pad on this end, and then this end is the cool end. So there is a thermal gradient there. Uh, the good thing about milk snakes is they are very easy to keep. They're very hardy, and they don't need special UV lights or heat lamps or anything like that, you know, um, they could do fine at room temperature, but I always like to keep a warmer end for her, so there we go, but every time I redo her enclosure, put new towels in, she just goes and hides underneath them, so what I'm going to do is take all of the uh, decor out of her enclosure, flush her out of the paper towels because it's time for her to eat, so... Who wants to see a snake feeding? All right, so I got her awake and out of the paper towels where she was hiding. Now let's see if she is interested in a large pinky mouse. This is a game that we do every time she runs for a little bit until she figures out that I'm trying to feed her. And then you can tell eventually when she starts to figure out that trying to feed her because that tongue starts working and then she will grab the mouse. Now this is a large pinky mouse. This will be her first large pinky. I have been feeding her um, small pinkies and in the last couple of months see there you go. In the last couple of months she has been I've been giving her two large pinkies per feeding so um, She's got that one kind of wrong, but I expect her to figure that out. She just got it by the front legs there, but she will figure out real quick how to swallow that thing. Um, like I said, this is her first large pinky, so she'll figure it out. But there we go, guys. That was my update on my female Pueblin milk snake. She is doing fine. Uh, I'm not going to change out her bedding today because there's like only a couple of poopies in here so I'll leave that for the week and then I will change it out next week she's not quite sure what to make of this because <clears throat> normally she has smaller mice than this but I think she will definitely figure it out and get it swallowed I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but my dogs are playing, and one of them's barking at the other one, trying to get them to to play there. Get her to grab this thing by the head. She keeps grabbing it by the dang middle of the front of its body there. So there we go. I'm going to end this video because you don't want to see this, but I'm going to keep messing around here until... I get her to take this thing by the head, but that has been the update on my female Pueblin milkshake. I hope you enjoyed it, and that you will um, share this video. Let me know with a thumbs up and a comment if you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, please do that. And of course, as always, take care of yourselves and each other, guys. Have a great day or a great night, wherever you are. God bless.